Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. At what angle should a road surface be banked in order that <clears throat> a vehicle can go around a band of around the uh, road of radius or a turn i'm sorry for uh, there is just a mistake here of the radius 55 me meter at a speed of 40 kilometer per hour so this is one of those questions that i've got on discord channel and the screenshot was not that proper that is why i was not able to use that screenshot here so that's why i just typed it here and there was some error here now to do this question we have to first understand like what is the banking of the road so what is the banking of the road so if you live in a hilly region or if you have ever visited a hilly region you might have observed this thing that the roads are generally uh, inclined at some turns like for example the vehicle is moving on a straight line in, in a straight road but immediately there is a turn ahead and you see that the roads are now a little inclined so at the turn the road looks like this and the vehicle is moving like this you see let us say this is the um, car I'm not that very good at drawings but anyways okay so this is the car now and the road is now inclined with the horizontal actually but you are sitting in the road that is why you might not uh, feel it that it is inclined but in hilly areas the angle is very high so it's very obvious for you to note those uh, inclinations so what happens is now what happens here is that this vehicle is now going to turn it is going to negotiate the turn on the road without even moving the steering so the driver is not moving the steering now the velocity is such and the inclination is such that the vehicle is automatically it is going to turn around by itself and that is why the banking of the uh, roads is done why because in hilly areas uh, like you do not want to skid like if let us say it's raining or uh, it's a slippery road but people want to create these kind of roads that even if your tires are not working even if you are not able to have friction even if you are if you forget to turn your steering even then the vehicle will turn so what happens here is like uh, this is taken as the weight w and the normal reaction will be normal to the surface and so this angle becomes equal to this angle theta the angle of inclination these two angles are equal to each other if you don't know why are these two angles equal please do let me know in the comment section i will tell you now you see uh what i do is uh, for for the circular motion we need a centripetal force so what we do we divide this normal reaction into two parts into two components so this will be taken as n cos theta and this will be taken as n sine theta so simple that n cos theta has to be equal to w so i have two equations here now n cos theta which is it should be equal to w because we need vertical equilibrium neither the vehicle is going up nor it is going downwards into the earth so this these two forces should cancel each other and the n sine theta should be equal to the centripetal force that is provided so that the vehicle turns in a circular motion so from here what we do is i'm taking this as one and this as two now i divide the first equation by two so n sine theta divided by n cos theta will be equal to mv square by r and weight is now taken as m into g so m and m gets cancelled out and n gets cancelled out so tan theta is equal to v square by gr and from here you see the velocity is given to us radius is given to us gravity is given to us and we will find the tan theta so what is the velocity we have to convert it so 40,000 divided by 3600 seconds square divided by g which is taken as 10 and the radius will be 55 so now my dear students i am just leaving this question at this point because this question is from paper two and there are no options given so uh, it will not be uh, we will not be able to give you the answer but from here you will get a numeric value and then from with the help of the calculator tan inverse like whatever value you have tan inverse x and you can find the value of theta so this is how you do it all the best